Hello everyone, it's Kangaroo here. And today we're doing another driving lesson here in ETS2. So let's start off with having a look at a manual um, sort of briefing. I'll go get get you to go through there. I'm going to go through with you. Now, as I've said in the lesson before, it's these lessons are for so that you can get your driving style profound and so that you don't hit stuff basically so let's just go back to lesson one okay so basically at lesson one I didn't show you this because I f just found it and I thought it would uh okay driving lesson one brief so basically I did what we in lesson one I covered this stuff so I, I got you to do the cockpit drill looking around uh, I made sure that all the doors are firmly shut well you can't actually do that in a Euro truck somewhere to do they are shut and you stay in the truck um, seat adjust the base the base of the seat and back so that's all correct to your height we did that in Euro truck um, you've well you what you should do now is that make sure that you're you can move get you know get your feet to clutch pedals I'm by the way using a proper steering wheel for all this mirrors adju we adjust the mirrors and the seat belts well we don't have any seat belts it's only simulation so on the engine we uh, did all that we did the moving off we did the subject to the brief and the accelerator pedal and the foot brake we did all that. Now it's uh, oh, and the clutch. We did the clutch, and we did the handbrake, and we did the gear lever. Uh, we did all this. So let's just get onto the and we did POM. So hopefully we'll be able to remember what POM means. Yeah, and POM means prepare, observe, and then move. That's uh, that's the proper and we will make we did do a few junctions so uh, and we did a bit of stopping as well I think we did anyway anyway we're going to go do lesson two now and it's going to focus on the gears now let me um, read through this and this is more a car's point of view but then I'll show you shall I show I'll show it to you now anyway in your truck you know that it has 12 gears and if you do uh, two if you, if you count up in twos to um, 12 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 you'll find out that you're, you'll be holding up six fingers on your hand and that means what your truck, your truck designers have done is split gears one to six in a car and they split them into twos and giving you more more flexibility with that, that those gears so they can get up the hills in trucks um, let's just get, um, let's just do something like that okay I'm just drawing you a diagram now of what I'm going to sh and that's basically that I've just explained what it is I'm going to draw a very bad diagram on here one two three four five six so this is what you would have in a car I slow down. Oh god, I've got two threes. One, two, three. F this is four, sorry. That's bad. Five. And six. That's what you have in a car, yeah? And then, if you add another branch on, uh, let's do another one. So that's what you have in a car. Car. Okay? Or in most cars. Okay? 
bad drawing there now. And if you get a new one, like that, I'll show you what they've done in a truck. So basically all I'm saying is that they split the first gear into two. I'm just giving you more freedom. So, forget that knobbly bit there. Where's my razor? There we go. It's pretty much cool there now. Oh, I want my brush. So, let's just get uh, another six there, so that would be twelve. So this is what you yeah, would have in a truck, yeah? This is Euro truck now, and we've got twelve gears, correct? Let me just draw these on. And now, just so that you can, you know, get right into your mind that this, alright, that's gear one, yeah? We'll be using, this is going to be as part, of, you know, the main part of our lesson today is understanding the gears. Okay? So, let me just, whoa, sorry, that's bad. So, how many blocks of red do we have there? We have six. That means they've split it into first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And then they've just branched off two gears in each, so you get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You get twelve gears. And if you use. Wait a minute, give me another colour. Oh, blue, please, thank you. If you use these gears here, two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve, those are the main gears that you need. Okay? There's another, another thing that I want to show you as well. Oh, that's not right, okay. In town, you should only be using three gears, just like a car. First, second, and third. That's what you have in a car. In our truck, in your truck, you will be using two, fourth, and sixth in town. Okay? In a car, when you're not in town, and when the speed is picking up, so like 30 miles, an, well in town you do 30 miles an hour, so that's third. That will be sixth in Euro truck and second uh, it's, <laughs> it's corresponding actually look at this second block is second gear in a car so that's you pick fourth you don't use third only if it's a very steep hill or something like that same with first you only set off in second I wanted you to set off in first um, in the first lesson because that would help you with the clutch control it's a lot smoother hopefully um, and so yeah first right this is f in the blue now that's first second and third oh. <laughs> third there. doing it with a mouse is difficult fourth and fifth that's what you have in a car okay car Okay. Hopefully it's okay. Um, y you can actually book lessons. I'm gonna actually try and do a multiplayer with someone. If you do need lessons, I'm gonna actually do like a multiplayer lesson with you in Euro Truck. So if anyone does want to 
sort of contact me about that, email me, and uh, but I'll talk about that at the end. Anyway, so you have f first and second being the first gear in a car, and then third and fourth and second in a car. So first is second in Euro Truck, and second in a car is fourth in Euro Truck. So y it's pretty simple, isn't it? So if we were driving along at 20 miles an hour in a truck, what gear would you be in? Have a guess. And what I would be thinking about being put in, I would be put, I would be in gear fourth. Okay. Okay, let's say if you're going down the motorway now and you're doing 55, 56 miles an hour, the truck speed limit, what gear should you be in? That's in your truck, okay? And you should have said 12. 12 is the gear that you should be in. Okay, because that's sixth gear. Uh, most cars only have five gears in real life but um, more cars now are coming in with sixth gear to make them more eco-friendly so hopefully you've got that what gear we should be in at what time mm -hmm. okay let's go back to here no let's not go to that one we want this one okay let me read through this so having mastered off in a straight line, which we have, you now need to learn how to change gear in order to make progress as you drive along. Smooth gear, gear changing is the first of three key foundation studies that you will need to learn. The others being steering and clutch control. These three foundation studies form the basis of most, if not all, the road traffic and reversing skills covered in other parts of the learning driver program. That's what we're doing now, we're doing a learning driver program. Therefore, before you move on to part two of the program, it is virtually important that these three foundation schools become second nature to you. They must, basically. I'm, I'm saying they must. Um, practice lots and you'll be really good at it. And it will help you in real life when you actually start to drive. All this will help you because this is from... This is basically it. An automatic response requiring little or no consciousness thought. This is why the next three lessons are dedicated to the development of these m most important skills. Taking the time to concentrate on them at this early stage will dramatically speed up your progress later on. The more effort you put into these foundation skills and easier the, the, and the easier the remaining road traffic and reversing skills will be to master. So basically let's look at the lesson objectives. Make upward gear shift in sequence 1 to through to 5. What we will be doing is we will be going up from 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th, no I've done that one. We'll be going, right, it says make it, let me say that again, make upward gear shift in sequence from, let's go back to either 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay? Make downward gear changes in sequence 5 through to 1st. Now, what we will be doing is from 12th, 10th, 8th, 6th, 4th, 2nd. If there are any hills that we need to go up, we will be doing, we'll be using some of those gears. If for some reason that we need to make stop. We may have to down to shift to one of them. We may have to. Um, let's see back to that. Make upward selective gear shifts from two to four, three to five. That's what it says on there. We probably do something like two to six, and then maybe eight to four. That's down, and then eight to twelve maybe. Okay. Or we may actually go into 8 to 11th and then to 12th. You can do that. 
maintain a straight course and look well ahead whilst changing gear okay and that's what you should do subject brief during this lesson you will learn how to make a car go faster by using the gears to reduce the number of engine revolutions per turn of the wheel this will allow you to increase the speed of the car but it will reduce its pulling power there we go so it shows you the gears um, there you go exactly as what I thought you need to use right let's just write on here shall we my can't, no I can't write on that we have to go down here We've gone too far. Hmm. It's only got 20, uh... Get rid of that. Yeah, exactly as I said on there, isn't it? Exactly as I said. Second... Oh, in our words, fourth gear in Euro Truck will correspond to 10 to 25 miles an hour. Third gear in real life corresponds to 2040, that will be sixth. And eighth will be 30 to 50. And uh, tenth will be 40. To mm, that's wrong. Truck doesn't go that, that quick. So um, forget the 70. <laughs> okay, and reversing is only 0 to 5 and we sometimes in Euro Truck you have um, several reverse gears for some reason just to make you go faster because people get annoyed at how slow a truck goes actually but you need that for manoeuvring a trailer we will get onto manoeuvring trailers in the future uh, that won't be long away Okay, gears can be changed up or down. It's nothing to do with the direction that you move the gear lever. It simply means that you can change to a higher gear. Higher gear. That's what I love about my THARS uh, gear shifter from Thrustmaster. It is brilliant. I love it. I can customize it. Can do all sorts. Not what you can't. You can't do that with a Logitech. Can't really customize it. I don't think. That's what I like about this gear shifter. I can uh, make a new metal plate for it, and uh, it will. I can assign new gears to it. I mean, it's, it's quite cool, isn't it? I could turn it to a fifth, five gear uh, gearbox if I want to do a fourth gear, four gear. Be brilliant. Um, it simply changes it to a higher gear or four gear. Yeah. The basic rule is that you change up through the gears as the speed of the car increases and down when the down when you m need to move the power f m need more power from the engine for example you would change down when climbing a hill or pulling away at low speed that's the same in the truck basic gear changing rule is gears to go brakes to slow as the car increases speed change up through the gears. When you want to slow down, use the foot brake. You'll need to only change to lower the gear when you need the accelerator again to drive the car along. This means you may sometimes miss out gears. For example, by changing from 5th to 4th gear to 2nd gear, this method is called selective or block gear changing. There are also times when you might selectively change up, having used a lower gear for a better acceleration or more pulling power. Pulling power, we all use that when we're taking a trailer, followed by a change to fifth gear when you have reached your intended cruising speed. Okay, let's get into your truck and put some of this to practice remember from gimp 
we will only be using 2, 4, 6, 8th, 10th and 12th gears we may, we may use them when we get to you know we may use 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 if the truck struggles but I'll tell you when ok let's get into your truck and hopefully this will work because it's no, that hasn't changed. You're still looking at it. what? Where is it? Ooh. Okay, so get it. Uh, there's your truck. I'm in. The only thing that I've changed with the truck is, um, actually, I've put a slightly smaller engine in it. 421 horsepower. So all I've done. Let's get in the truck. There's the truck. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this stupid navigation display, which is that one. There you go. So we're only looking at the truck, um, and have a look around. That's you should only be looking at the truck. Yeah. So how do we start a tr truck? Well, we did it in the last lesson, so you should know. If you, if you haven't watched that other lesson, you should go and watch it because that's the first one that we actually. Oh. Just using moving my gear shifter there. Okay. Not sure that's all good. Right, I need you to hear the engine, which is a problem because this truck is quite quiet. So, I'm going to just go and turn that up. Give me a sec. Actually, um, yeah, I'll turn, it, turn it up on there. But then, in the, in the game. Let's just start it. Yeah, that should be about right, right. Should be able to hear it. Hopefully, it will. Yeah, you should be able to hear that. Okay, right, let's turn that off again. So, how do you start the truck? Well, you should know. You put the initial, you press the key once. And lots of dials move and the thing turns on. Then you should start it again. Press it again, and then you have it come on. Now the handbrake wasn't on. Um, that's an easy mistake. You should always do that whenever you're stopped. Uh, okay, let's just put it in the reverse. Slide it into second because that's the gear that we're starting off with. And all you need to do, start off with, is just gently. You don't need much. I don't think you actually need any particular um, engine power at all. Get rid of my display, please. Thank you. Uh, look in that mirror over there, which is imported onto my screen there, the t left and right mirror. I'm looking at the left now, it's clear. Take a look over there, where the green truck is. Make sure no one's in front of your truck. Look to your side to make sure again. And around here, no one's around. It's in second, just gently, right? I know it's moaning on me. Find the bike point, which I found the bike point. Release the handbrake. And off we go. And you're in second. Now to fourth. And we are going left, so when we get to the junction, clutch in, look to the right, and throw forward. What remember, only listen to the engine, not. We can't really do it that well in here. Oh, cars are coming. So off we go, it's turning grey in the game, don't know why that is. Yeah, I'm revving it. Way too much. 
And we're in Sith now. What I want you to do now is go into Ape. And Ape is generally the town speed, really. I just want you to cruise around town like this. And see the green light? Stop, stop, stop. Keep brake, pressing the brake. And just. Oh, trucks are a bit more. Um, I pressed the brake way too hard then. Into fourth, I would, and off we go. Gently does it. Around to the left. That's the way we're going. I'm sort of in the right hand lane. You shouldn't have done that, but there we go. And you need to get up to speed, so. Gear shifter went weird then, I went into 7th and then, so 10th, I'm in 10th now. He's stopping, ooh. Can't get used to these brakes though. And when he's going forward, uh, I can't get used to this. For you. And you're using the gears to make you move. Don't rush, because there's no point in rushing. It just gently does it. That's all it is. Keep going to summit, I don't know why. And it's just generally driving around town using the gears. Now, I'm going to get outside of town now. So we don't need to be here. Signal, brake, check mirrors. Get into the lower gear, I think around about 8th, I think we'll do. Don't need this, you know, the truck should idle around about 5,000 revs easily when we go around the bend. Okay, and you don't need any other gear. Let me just bring up my display for a moment, check what speed I'm doing. Move in the right hand lane, check the right mirror, move in to the right hand lane. Brake, brake, brake. Engage the clutch. Get into fourth gear. And off we go. It's all about the smoothness of it, and uh, and yeah, it's all about it. Yeah, I, I actually had to go into second. My chair just went all the way back. It wasn't good. So get ready to go into fourth. And you can't actually, well he's let me go, but... I didn't actually flash your lights, but I was just letting... I would actually, in real life, say thank you. Shove it in eighth. Not literally, but just gently. And we go up through the gears, and that's all it is. I'm doing fine with 13 now. now. This truck has got quite good pull to it actually. So it's probably not a very good learner no, truck. But um, it's doing okay. So natural speed we don't look sign, so now we go up to I want the truck to get up this hill, so and I want it I want anyone in these conditions to be doing the actual speed limit. Hopefully it's limited. I think it is. Uh, 
and we will be going left. The signal, looking left mirror, just stopped, oh, which is not very good. But it's just with the gears, that's all it is. If you've got a good gear, you've got a good way of getting out of situations. Along here, temp and doing speed is okay as you get to know to drive it opens out down here so just gas on the little and into 12 you may have to use some gears right you're going down here way now so you need to immediately go into a lower gear so, I've gone into temp. Gently on the brakes. He's overtaking me, you can if he wants. They are quite sharp, these brakes. We need to change that, but we're going right, er, uh, left, sorry. <laughs> into another lower gear, and then gently go around, unless they change like that so you have to slam on the brakes and put that brake on out of gear and there we go should we just stop there like that now clearly went into the back of me why are they just fucking around there I'm going to change the braking sensitivity oh controls is in Controls. Oh no. Gameplay maybe. Um. Yeah, just like that. It's best. So we're in neutral now, I'm not, any, my foot isn't on the, oh. should go there, come on. Didn't like that one. Now I don't really want to be on this dual carriageway, but I'm not doing dual carriageways yet. So just we're concentrating on the gears today. Gears are our main the main part of it. So you should just be concentrating on gears, and that's it. It's Thirty here, so we're doing it below the speed limit already, so that's good. camera so be aware of that you're doing 30 you can go ahead if it wants that sign on the left there means no stopping I think I think oh that sign just gone on my brain checking the highway code book I'm way over there actually but well when we stop so at the end of the road we will be going left I've just gone down to another lower gear which is ninth, which is not normally the gear we use, but I've done it just to slow that truck down a little bit more. So we went down that hill. That sign there on the left means no stopping. That's what I mean. So we will be going left along here. And they're changing to red, so we just stop. 
in the gear we're in, which I am. There we go. It's not in gear. Um, my foot away is away from the clutch. Uh, now I'm just putting it back on it because I think they may change. Maybe not. Setting off. Remember to look in your both mirrors because a cyclist could come down the left hand side in real life or any time at all. Now taking corners with a trailer is different. We'll do that another time. Now left again. And we are going to stop in one of those bays over there. Let me just make sure I've covered everything for this lesson. Okay, I think that is it, so let's just show it in reverse, make sure no one's around, and just go back gently. Not revving it. Uh, there's the truck parking, so I'm going to go over to that, buy that Scania. when I'm just going to creep on the clutch. I'm not even using any throttle at all. There you go. Moving forward. Put the brake on slightly. And now reverse back. Gently. Straightening up. A little bit of throttle. Clutch in, brake, handbrake, lights, turn the engine off, outside, and that is pretty much, that is in the, in the space, that's how you park a truck. Don't rush it, because you'll be in, either in that truck by the side of you, that's the Scania, I would be in the Scania, or you'll be all sorts of different ways. Other people may not get into the space, so you park like that, everyone can get in. Now, let me just have a look at my diary. So, tomorrow I may be able to do a some recording, so that's Friday the 12th. Uh, Next week, uh, I'm just looking at the days really. I will be probably be able to do quite a lot of recording next week because uh, end of exams, yay! Anyway, that's it for now. Um, don't don't forget that you will need to look if you're following this, following these lessons. You will need to look at. It will be in the description. You'll need to look at um, some certain. Um, so you need to read the highway code rules. Um, 112 and 116. Now those will be the auxiliary controls that we'll be doing, um, and you'll need to look at them. Uh, also. page 128 of the official highway code yeah highway code rules 112 to 116 steering and ancillary controls 
and page 128 warning displays in preparation for next lesson and that is it don't forget that's um, let's see what that sign meant line for it no waiting that sign meant so thank you very much for watching don't forget to to like um, to like no E L S S that's enjoy it like it subscribe and what's the last one Sh you know share and subscribe if you do all those four things you'll help me out a lot and thank you very much for watching don't forget to read those highway code rules if you're following this and to take care I'll see you next time bye bye guys bye bye and peeps and girls whoever is watching bye bye